Whether you're visiting for a week or just a day, the best way to see and experience the city of San Diego is to hop on the Old Town Trolley. This trolley stops at all the major hotspots within the city and makes a complete loop in just a couple of hours. From cafes in Little Italy to the grounds of Balboa Park, San Diego has a little something for everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at all the major stops along the route and some of the best things to do and see. So sit back, grab some snacks, as we cruise around this beautiful city known as San Diego, California. Known for its beautiful and pristine beaches, food, nightlife, and rich history, San Diego also has one of the best climates in the country. Because of this moderate coastal climate that on average stays in the low 70s year round, San Diego produces more avocados than any other place in the country. With a population just over 1.4 million people, San Diego is the second most populated city in California and the eighth most populated in the country. However, San Diego has never won a World Series, Super Bowl, or NBA Final. Old Town San Diego is known as the birthplace of California and reflects San Diego's Mexican roots. Old Town is a festive area utilized by tourists and locals and is lined with preserved historic buildings, museums, and restaurants. This is also the starting and end point for the Old Town Trolley. But before you jump on the trolley, take a couple hours to explore the Old Town Markets and the State Historic Park that sits just behind it. Old Town Marketplace, an open-air courtyard, home to a variety of carts and shops that sell handcrafted trinkets, clothing, and traditional Mexican culture. There are a handful of top-tier Mexican restaurants in the area. Old Town Cafe is known for having some of the best authentic Mexican food, but I always end up at Cafe Coyote because of the lively atmosphere and giant margaritas. The food here is pretty good as well. They hand make their tortillas right in front of the restaurant. The Whaley House sits in the middle of Old Town and is not only known as the city's oldest two-story brick building, but is also as one of the most haunted houses in America. Throughout much of the 1800s, the Whaley House was also a courthouse where public hangings took place, and some people believe that many of those spirits still inhabit the Whaley House today. Jumping on the trolley and heading out of Old Town, you'll first pass the Amtrak train station. So if you happen to be riding the train down from LA or Orange County, Old Town is just a short walk from here. Before you get to the first stop on the route, you'll pass by the San Diego International Airport, which is the busiest single runway airport in the country and second in the world, with planes taking off and landing about every 30 seconds. The first stop on the route is the Maritime Museum. Take a walk down memory lane and explore some of the really cool vintage ships and submarines. This museum has one of the world's finest collections of historic ships, including the San Salvador and the Star of India, the world's oldest active sailing ship. Just a half a mile down the road in the second stop on the route is the USS Midway alongside Tuna Harbor Park. At the park, you'll find the iconic 25-foot high kissing statue in celebration of the end of World War II. The floating museum known as the USS Midway is the United States' longest serving aircraft carrier of the 20th century. Weighing in at 74,000 tons with a length of 972 feet, this floating museum sees over 1 million visitors each year and is worth the price of admission. San Diego has over 110,000 active duty military members, mainly Navy and Marines, and is home to the Navy SEAL teams 1, 3, 5, and 7. The third stop on the route is the shopping and dining complex known as Seaport Village. There are over 70 unique shops and a wide variety of food options here as well. This area is great for evening walks along the waterfront or just hanging out and killing a couple hours. As you depart Seaport Village, You'll drive by the famous Kansas City barbecue where the piano scene from the original Top Gun movie was filmed. After a quick stop at the Marriott, the trolley heads into the historic gas lamp quarter. The name derives from the old gas lamps that once lined the street corners. However, most of these lamps have been replaced with the arc lights today. The trolley stops right in front of the famous Horton Grand Hotel, once home to the notorious Wild West gunslinger Wyatt Earp and his third wife, Josephine. 
Some people claim that this hotel is haunted. The 16 and a half block neighborhood in downtown includes 94 historic buildings, most of which were constructed during the Victorian era. Many are in use as restaurants, shops, and nightclubs. This whole neighborhood lights up and comes alive when the sun goes down. Street performers claim their spots along Fifth Avenue as crowds of people shuffle by and the night fades into the past. If you're heading to the Padres game at Petco Park, then the gas lamp quarter is the perfect place to loiter for the pre and post game food and drinks. Leaving the gas lamp, the trolley makes two other stops, one at the convention center and then Barrio Logan before heading over the bridge to Coronado Island. Ronald Reagan, the governor of California at the time, was officially the first person to cross the San Diego Coronado Bridge when it was completed in 1969. The first stop on Coronado Island is the iconic 128 year old all wooden Hotel de Coronado, the country's largest wooden structure. It's worth the time to walk through the lobby and around the property. Grab some food and drinks at the restaurant or bar around back where the evening ambiance is warm and inviting. The beach is just a few steps away from the hotel and there's a nice walking path that runs along the beach. Before the trolley heads back over the bridge, it makes one more stop on Orange Avenue, the main drag where all the shopping, coffee shops, and restaurants are. My favorite place to eat is Clayton's Diner that has a wide selection of excellent food and they serve breakfast all day. Centennial Park at the end of Orange Avenue is a nice park to check out. Unfortunately, the trolley doesn't stop near there. It's about a mile walk from the trolley stop. This is also where you can catch the ferry over to the mainland. After leaving the island, the next stop is Balboa Park. This 1200 acre park within the city is the world's largest urban cultural park and you could easily spend all day here. Balboa Park is where culture, science, and nature collide. And the park is bigger than Central Park in New York City by a whopping 357 acres. If you love museums, then you fit the jackpot. There are 17 in all, and I can't cover them all in this video, but here's a list of 10 of the most popular ones. The San Diego Zoo is also located within the park, as well as multiple theaters. The park has many different gardens spread throughout, including a huge botanical garden, a Japanese garden, and a giant rose garden. Balboa Park has many excellent hiking and biking trails as well. The last stop on the trolley route before heading back to Old Town is the neighborhood of Little Italy. This popular neighborhood sits on the hillside just above the San Diego International Airport. You can watch the planes come in right overhead as you sit at one of the many cafes and sip your latte or just lay on the ground and eat your donut. Little Italy is one of the more active neighborhoods in downtown and is lined with bars, restaurants, and shops. There are always different events and festivals going on, not to mention the large farmer's market that takes place every Saturday. Take a walk down to Waterfront Park if you have kids and let them burn off some energy. This park has some really nice playgrounds, fountains, and green space. One of the best things about riding the trolley around town is that you don't have to worry about finding or paying for parking. And if you want to have some drinks, you have a driver.